Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the bubble sort algorithm. So the algorithm is simple. It compares the first two elements of your on array uh, and check if the first one is greater than the second. If it is, it swaps it and repeats the same process just as seen as on this uh, uh, GIF animation. So it, it has to go through this until it reaches the end and comes back to the beginning and starts again. There are different sorting algorithm that works way faster than this, but uh, in this video, we're going to demonstrate the bubble sort algorithm. There are binary sort, there are match sort, there are uh, different other sorting algorithm I can't remember right now, but this is exactly how this one works. It looks true. I think it's uh, about O of n square complexity. So uh, let's walk through it uh, using the Ruby method. In Ruby, you, you define a function like this. Uh, bubble sort uh, is going to take in an array and I'm going to end this method so the first thing you want to do uh, I'm going to have a test value like a kind of breakout value to test when my value is true so I'm going to test like a boolean value and set it to true so I'm going to look through the range of an array you can use a for loop or a while loop to achieve the same result but for the purpose of this result um, uh, test I'm going to use uh, uh, for each loop so I'm going to go through 0 using a range uh, 0 to the array dot length uh, dot each do uh, I'm going to take i value so I'm going to end this so in the first case uh, we're only having that so I'm also going to go through a different one because uh, for you to achieve this you have to go through like two times and minus one this one won't reach the end so do I'm going to use the j value for different for this and so uh, this is going to be all of n square for us to achieve what we want so um, let's use this uh, in a single term if we say if array j that's the first element which is zero array zero would always give us the first element array uh, j plus one which is like zero plus one so the second one element so and this so if this is true uh, we're going to swap uh, so I'm just going to use a simple swap uh, method array you set the first element into a temporary value and you set the second element to take the position of the first element then you return back the element this element to take the value of that first element so that swap happens so uh, now if this goes on like this and this I'm going to break out the end out uh, of the entire array if uh, our swap test still remains true but each time it enters this swap I want to set the swap test to be false so that the array happens again. I hope that makes sense so this is what we're going to do I'm going to print out the value of each element so we see what's happening inside Copy this. so this is inside if Thank you. 
This would be after the swap. After swap. So uh, in the end, we are supposed to return the array. So I'm going to have my array. So do a simple value like five, four, one, two, three. Uh, okay, let me make this eight. <coughs> so I'm going to have puts bubble sets my array. So save if I run Ruby tests.rb. Oh, I have a syntax error. Okay, this ends here, and this ends here. So I said E this. Oh, this is the error that each. Sorry. That is the arrow. I didn't put that pitch here. Sorry, guys. So we have a new call. Okay, so we fix whatever error there is. So now we have, let's go through the code again. Zero to array the length of each do i. Then we go through the second loop. So let's see what happens if we run this code. We have rb test at rb. So you see. It checks for the first one, five and four. Five is greater than, so it swaps. Now you now have uh, the next thing you now have is let's walk through the code. You will now have four, five, eight, two. And three. So he checks through five and eight, nothing happens, so he doesn't go into if. So he checks eight and two. Now it swaps. So you are left with you are left with two and eight. So you see the next one it compares eight and three. Eight is greater than so it swaps. So you are left with two, three, and eight. So what happens? It starts from the beginning again. When you are uh, Four and five is okay, nothing happens. Five and two. You see five and two. It swaps. So you are with two and five. What happens? Five and three. It swaps. So you have something like this. Three and five. 
So what happens? Five and eight is okay, nothing happens. So it starts from the beginning again. Four and two. So you have this. Two, four. So what happened? The next one is four and three. So what happens? It swaps three and four. So what happens? After swap, we have to get four. So it goes through the algorithm, but everything happens should be fine. So nothing happens. It returns the area. In that case, uh, when 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 it comes back at the end of when it reaches the end, this becomes true. So if it tries to go through the loop again, it breaks through, and this becomes true. So it returns the area. So that's basically how the bubble sort algorithm works. I hope you understand. I hope it makes sense to you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.